So I recently learned how to set up a web server using Python and the Flask framework. Flask is technically classified as a micro framework because it doesn't require particular tools or libraries. It makes it super easy to spin up a web server that's powered by Python, and that's exactly what we're gonna build in this video. So to get started, we'll set up our development environment, and then we'll install Python and Flask and get to work. So first off, we're gonna download Python, and we can just get this online. If you just search Python, python.org, and we'll go to downloads, and I'm on Mac OS at the moment, so we'll download that. Um, I already have it installed, but we'll go ahead and go through it anyways. So we'll get a package file we can install. We'll run that, and then we'll have the installer, and Python is available on Linux, Mac, Windows, anything that you're running. Okay, we'll click through, take defaults, and I'm not gonna go ahead and install this, but you'll hit install, and that will install the Python. Uh, IDLE. Now that we've got Python installed, we're going to install the Flask framework, which we're going to use a little um, module called pip. Um, so we're going to open up a terminal window and type sudo pip3 install flask. It's going to ask for our credentials for sudo. And then it will install. I already have it installed, so there we go. So now that we have those both installed, we can set up a directory to house our files for the web server and get everything set up and start up Flask. So to do that, I'm going to open another terminal window and I'm just gonna CD, so change directory to the desktop just to make it easy, and then make directory, and we'll just call it web site. So that'll make a new folder on our desktop and then we will cd into that folder. So next we're gonna open up the Python IDLE, just use this as our editor. We're gonna create a new file and we're going to save this file in our website folder on the desktop. So we'll save it app.py. Okay, and then within that app.py, we're gonna paste this code, which I'll have in the description box. And this is gonna set up our Flask web server. And once uh, we actually go to the, to the site, it's gonna show hello world. It's gonna have the text hello world. So we will make sure we save that. So that's in that directory. And then we'll type python3 app.py to start. And there we go. Our web server is running on localhost. So we can go ahead and copy and paste the localhost address on port 5000 and hello world, there we go. So in this app.py file, basically in the beginning, we're just importing the Flask framework, um, we're creating our app, and then this route here, this function, is creating like the main directory for the site. So if we wanna create a different page, put in popcorn, slash popcorn, and then define the function popcorn, Let's say, well, I like popcorn. And so then if we save the file and we go to the site. So the main is the main uh, site is not going to be found, the home page, but if we go to slash popcorn, then it will show I like popcorn. And so obviously we wouldn't want to define a whole page within just one main file for the site. For, for websites, you always have HTML and CSS, so you have multiple pages that you link to um, with, on, the main, on the main site. And so that is what we're gonna do next, is set up some HTML pages that will link in the main app.py. All right, so for this next section, we're going to open up a new terminal window and we're gonna CD back into that same desktop website once we're in there, we're going to do a new directory, make directory, and we're gonna call it site files. Okay. And then we'll CD into site files. And then in our IDLE, we'll make a new file. And we'll just do some basic HTML in here. So HTML tags, body tags, and then we'll just do an H1 that says, hello. OK, 
okay and then we will save this in that same website files directory we'll call it index.html so then we need to actually add the index.html file to our site so we're gonna have to open up our app.py again and we'll clear out the popcorn nonsense and then up at the top we're actually gonna have to add in a different module it's called render template and I was wrong and we do actually have to call this templates for that function to be able to actually find the file it's looking for so then we'll save this again save app.py and then if we go to our site there we go if we go to our main site then we're able to see the HTML on our home page so finally to add a little bit of flair a little bit of color to our site we're going to add in some CSS and link it to our index.html to be able to style our site so we're going to um, CD back out to the website and we're going to make a new directory and we're going to call it static and then let's see we got that so we have static we have templates and then we're going to make a new file in the IDLE and then we're going to copy in some super simple um, CSS and I'm going to do the background as green and the color of the text as I'll just do black Okay, and then save this. We're gonna save this as styles.css and make sure it's in our static folder. So now we're just gonna open up our index.html file. I'm using Visual Studio Code here. And in the top of our file, we're just gonna add in a link to the style sheet that's in static and styles.css, which is what mine's called. We'll save that file. And then when we open up our web server and if we refresh there we go green and black which looks awful but hey that's all right so that's it in this video we set up a super simple python web server using the flask framework so if you followed along if you have any questions be sure to leave a comment down below and if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe it helps out the channel and i greatly appreciate it thanks so much for watching take care